In a laryngectomy emergency, oxygenation is the priority by any means possible. Primary emergency oxygenation can be achieved in the spontaneously breathing patient by applying a high flow source of oxygen to the stoma. Ventilation can be achieved using a paediatric face mask applied to the stoma as shown here. You can also use a laryngeal mask applied to the skin. Ventilation is achieved using an appropriate oxygen delivery system. This is a Mapleson C or a water circuit. Application of a laryngeal mask to stoma is shown here on this dummy. The water circuit can be used to monitor visually any spontaneous breathing effort or used to ventilate. The same can be achieved using a paediatric face mask. This system would ideally be connected to capnography to further monitor whether the airway is patent and the adequacy of respiration. If adequate ventilation and oxygenation cannot be achieved by using non-invasive methods such as those shown here, the next step is to insert an airway device into the tracheostomy stoma. This can be a specific laryngectomy tube such as a Montadon tube or an appropriate tracheostomy tube or even an endotracheal tube. 